come to this in your lesson. Now, let me cover the development approach, which we covered uh, in the previous section. So our approach will be is that we will, in the first step, step one, experiment with Node.js. Initially, we will experiment with calling open AI APIs directly from Node.js without running it as a web server. This is what we have done so far. In step two, which is what we'll do in this uh, lesson, we will create REST APIs with Express. So we will convert the application to Express and we will test the APIs in Postman. Now, what we'll be doing on the next lesson will be generating the web page using chat GPT. We will design a prompt and use that prompt to generate uh, the front end code for us. So for now, let's start with converting the application to an Express application. Okay, so here the first step will be to install the Express, Express package. I'll do npm, then Express. That should install the Express uh, package for us. Yes, this should be npm install Express. This will install the Express uh, library for us. Then we will go to the app.js in order to uh, start and initialize our Express environment. Okay, so the first step will be uh, two uh, requires. So first we require Express, of course, and then we require our chat completion controller that we have just uh, created. Then we will set up the Express web server, define Express uh, constant as an app. Then we will listen to port 4000. The next step we will define a middleware because we will use this application as a JSON endpoint. So we need to allow Express to be able to extract the JSON uh, data from the uh, HTTP messages. So to do that, you need to define a middleware. This middleware is app.useExpress.json. This allow Express to interact with JSON in requests and response. Now, the last part is to define the uh, route. So for the route, you can define it in this manner, app.post. This is the URL for the API. It is slash openAI slash intro from introduction slash uh, chat completion. So this is the route. When we get a call on this route, we will call the generate chat completion method, which is this method. Of course, there is a problem now because this method will be called and it will be passed the uh, request and the response. But it now doesn't understand request and response. So that's why we need now here to update this controller. Okay, so the first change will be make this take request, comma, response. Now the user role which was passed to us, now we will read it from the request. So it will be request.body dot the name uh, of the key. So this means that inside our request, we inside the body in particular, we need to have a JSON object with a key user role content. Now I don't think we need this. And I will comment this out. Okay, so now I need to uh, return the response uh, appropriately. So to do that, this uh, method status 200 successful dot json i need to return a json object the json object will have a key which is content and a value which is the value returned from uh, the uh, model inside the response object so as you can see now i take a request and a response in the request i expect in the body a json object that contains this uh, key and it returns a status 200 successful and a json object with a key which is content and the returned value from the 
model. Okay, so the next step will be to test that. So I will start the server node app.js because this is the file that contains the express server. I will start it. Okay, now it is telling us that it is uh, listening on uh, port uh, 4000. Now I will test this API. I will open Postman. In Postman, I already prepared a request. This is what I called it, chat completion. It is a post. It must be a post because we are passing data within the body. The URL is localhost 4000. You can see open AI intro chat completion. This is actually the route that we have defined, open AI intro chat completion. This is the method will be called when this uh, route is had. Now in this, in this request first, notice that we specified the content type to be application slash JSON and the body is raw, selecting JSON as data format. And in this JSON, I pass this key and here the question that I want to request. Uh, notes here, you must specify these uh, double quotations. So that's the request. Let me do send. Okay, as you can see, it returned for me this object, uh, which says unleash the power, uh, dominate uh, the game. So this is the motto for the basketball team uh, that uh, I sent. Okay, let me change the uh, prompt. What is the capital of France? Okay, I'll make a request. Okay, so it's saying Paris. Now I'll take you back to the code and to the controller in particular. Note that in the system role, we say you reply as concisely as possible. Now what if we say something else? You reply as detailed as uh, possible. Let me save this, restart the server. Okay, now if I go back here, what's the capital of France? You can see here the capital of France is Paris. So it wasn't concise. Previously we told it to be concise, but later we asked him to answer as detailed as possible. So that was the uh, answer, it was longer. I just wanted to show you how the uh, system role can affect the response that has been returned from the model. That's all for uh, today's lesson.